Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to continue on with our simulation on Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Zewil Zemak. Or Zewil Demak. Oh god, that's gonna be hard to pronounce from now on. <sighs> I might just call it Xenosaga Episode 1, but whatever. I'm rambling at this point. Welcome back, guys. Last time we begun the game, we met Xion and her android Cosmos. We have to get through this simulation first in order to, um, progress with the rest of the game. Now, I showed off some basic tutorials last time. Let's show off an actual battle. Now, one thing you can do, um, you see these little things over here? Shion has like a little destroyable gun with her that can destroy objects in her path. Like this. Press the square button and yoink! There you go. You can blow shit up. So, there you go. Not only that, but you can also unlock some hidden paths as well as hidden items by doing that. There you go, over here we get a med kit, nice. The med kit is um, a low level healing item. Um, let's see here. Yeah, med kits, yeah, really low HP recovery, but if you have 6 AP in battle, you can press the triangle button um, with that item, and you can be able to um, use that med kit on all party members. Isn't that cool? Yeah, an, an item, a battle item. Or a healing battle item on all party members. It is rad. So, you know, they go. Whoa! Run away! Now, I wanted to lure this guy down here, but he's too big for the steps. Get out of my way, or else. Get out of my way, bitch! No. <laughs> In the case, alright, we got more enemies here. Drone F, Drone W, and Attack Drone. Alright, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, drone, um, attack drone, 80 HP. Drone F has, um, 68. And drone M has 50. Now, these two over here are biological enemies. Because, well, they're humanoid. Um, the guy in the middle is mechanical. So, he'll be M in the turn queue. So, you know, there you go. Alright, now, now, let's get this guy out of the way. Yoink! Stun shock! Yeah, eat my lightning, bitch! Haha! <laughs> Notice I got four points right there. As I mentioned um, in the last episode, uh, whenever you kill an enemy with that mark, with that icon on there, you'll get more points after battle. I think it's either ether or skill or something rather like that. I forget which one, but you know. Yoink! Now, my sword, bitch! Or I guess eat my legs, but ow! Quit it. Now. Luckily, that guy didn't get the critical up chance since it was on that red icon. But on this um, circle icon here, that increases your um, boost um, gauge rate. As such, for the mechanical enemies, use um, tech attacks that are long range. As such, firecracker, cherry bomb! Yoink! There you go. Notice my boost gauge got higher. What the hell is Miyuki? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, you notice how Xion's, um, that red line got higher, or larger? That's Xion's, um, boost gauge. Because I had the boost rage, um, um, gauge icon up, I got a heightened chance of getting my boost gauge up. So, there you go. That's very, very useful, as I mentioned in the last episode, for getting, you know, extra attacks in before the enemy. Whenever you want to climb up a ladder or something like that, just go and face it with Xion or whoever is leading your party. And you'll be able to do so. Uh-oh. Oh, also, there are more two or more objects you can sh you can select while using the L1 and R2 buttons to choose and shoot. Yeah, all right, I kind of already explained that, but thanks, Xion. Thanks. Whoa! Oh! Ha-ha! There you go. Yeah, I managed to get it off. Alright, now viewers, you notice there that I got that little, um, that field ability right there? I, I, I hit the enemies with that fire container, and as such, I got a boost to my, um, my boost gauge rate. As such, alright, let's get these bastards out the way. Yoink! Yeah! Nice! Alright, sometimes you can get a high critical even without that critical hit rate, um, icon one, so just so you know, there you go. Alright, now, as I mentioned um, in the last episode, um, I, I have Xion with this um, um, letter um, square on, on the boost gauge there. As such, since she had a boost already ready, I selected her before um, Cosmos' turn. 
So there you go. Very useful. Great. I collected some good data. Sexy data. There you go. Yay! More points. All right, got that bitch out the way. And in here, we get a treasure chest. Our first one in the game. Which contains two medkit S's. Nice. Those are mid-range um, healing items. An, an upgrade from the original medkits. So they, they basically restore more HP to a party member or party members. If you have, you know, the 6 AP required to use it on all party members in battle. So, you know, there you go. Alright, got another mechanical enemy. What? Fuck. All battle systems are go. Yeah, just like before, let's get this guy out the way. Kick his ass, Shion! Yeah! Cherry Blossom, bitch! Oop, sorry, viewers. I got too excited, my phone fell. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Alright, punch! And salt! Huh. Ow! Quit it. Is that all you got, dude? Pathetic. Let me show you vote up your ass. There you go. Okay, let's go on. Get the hell out of here. We're done with the first screen. Ooh, nice. Level up on both of them. Cool. The enemies here actually give some pretty good EXP for the start of the game. Now, I recommend doing a little bit of level grinding, but you don't have to here. Not yet, anyway. Do you really think this is a good idea? Uh, we have no choice. So, yoink! Face your fate! Ah! There you go. Viewers, I love the battle music in this game. Take note, though, with Xenosaga 1, the battle music is also the boss music. I should have said that earlier, but, you know. Now you know. But, yeah. It's not so Xenosaga 2 that we get more ball, you know, we get boss themes and stuff like that. But the battle theme... Who would have thought one of Miyuki's inventions would come in handy? <laughs> well, yeah, the battle theme works just as well as a boss theme. So, I guess they figured, you know, the battle theme is sexy enough, so we don't have to change it up yet. Keep that door over there in mind for later, that one down there, you know, with the red flashing thing. Keep that in mind. What? Damn it! Do you really think this is a good idea? Get out of the way! Yeah! Haha! <laughs> she must have some knives in her feet. Holy shit, that hurts. Yoink! Eat it, bitch! Goodbye. Ow! Quit it. And oh yeah, um, pro tip, you might want to take care of, um, this guy here. Uh, what the fuck was his name again? Drone F? Yeah, because that guy can shoot grenades and shit, and sometimes they deal a lot of damage, especially if he's, um, if he's on the high critical hit rate, um, icon. You don't want that shit. My external appearance is down 5%. Gian, I need to be clean. <laughs> I still can't get over that. My external appearance is down by 5%. Xion, I need to be cleaned. But over here, we got another fire boost, on um, fire blast container. Keep that in mind for later. Not right now, though. Alright, now before we, before we progress onwards, let's come over here and get this item inside this box. Or crate, which is a revive. Revive! Revive! No. Now, viewers, my throat is a bit hoarse today. So if I sound hoarse, that's the reason why. So, there you go. And whenever you want to open doors and stuff like that, just press the circle button. So, there you go. Huh. What's that? Oh, cutscene. Is something over there? Whoa! Where the fuck did this robot come from? Is that a Gundam? No, it's not a Gundam. A mobile suits. How's it going? I think I pissed them off. <laughs> All battle systems. All right, now we got a new tutorial here. Eggs. In this battle, it is possible to pilot an eggs, aka your Gundam, pretty much, by selecting eggs in the sub menu. First, select eggs from the menu. Next, use the right and left directional button to select its position, and press circle to call it. 
Your turn is over after it's called. Pretty much. Now, basically, your eggs are basically your mobile suits, practically. Yes, there are robot mobile suit-isk items or battle stuff in this game. So, you know, they, I mean, we're in the future. Hello? But in any case, eggs also have a different kind of menu compared to um, a character's battle menu. So, there you go. Ow! Quit it. But yeah, let's get Cosmos' turn out of the way. Get out of here! Nice. Controlling an eggs. Now, the eggs attack with square and triangle. Consumed AP vary with different weapons. Furthermore, the sub menu will change slightly. WX. This is available when the same weapons are equipped on both arms. Six AP is required. Ether cannot be used. Now, the item command cannot be used when piloting eggs, so you might want to be careful with that. Move. This changes your position. Changing positions can alter the attack of, or amount of damage received and may limit your attack. Now, this will make you exit your eggs here with, with eggs command. Your turn ends after you exit the eggs, same as when you enter them. And of course, guard will reduce the amount of damage received. It's a good way to accumulate AP, just like regular battles. So, there you go. Warning! You will not be able to recover during the battle if your eggs HP reaches zero. So basically that means if your character dies while they're piling and piloting an eggs, that means um they die and you can't revive them. So as such, time your battles with them carefully. So there you go. Now you can also upgrade your eggs um as well later on in the game. There will be parts that you can purchase from shops that you can upgrade your eggs and make them stronger. So there you go. The enemies have been exterminated. Yes, they have. Thank you much. <gasps> Alright, got that bastard out the way. Good job, ladies. Whew. Status check. I don't see anything unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type-G drones. Commencing display. What the hell? Okay. So, so it looks like we have new enemies. Chief, I've changed the settings on the target drones. The next target is key to sound, so it will only respond if you make a loud noise. You can move quietly if you hold down the R2 button while moving. Shut up, iPhone. Also, that thing behind you is a save point. If you press the circle button there, you can save your progress. Make sure to have good use of it. Practically. So yeah, basically, these save points here, press the circle button while under them, and you, of course, you can save your game. So, you know, there you go. Alright, now then. Yoink! There you go. Yeah, there's nothing there. But yeah, save your game there, and unfortunately, those don't restore your HP automatically, so... I wouldn't bother with them. Unfortunately, they aren't like the save points in Final Fantasy X. That's the one thing they didn't copy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just kidding. But yeah, there's there's nothing there. Yoink! But let's get some items first. Either packs. They restore your um EP to make it S's. Let's see what's over here. Yoink! Whoa! All battle systems are good. Fuck! Bastards came out of nowhere. But yeah, we got new enemies here. Drone GI or Drone GI. Um, Drone G1. They have 82 HP. They are annoying as fuck. So as such, um, I can't pilot my eggs. Wow, that sucks ass. Whatever. Yoink. Ah. Not that that did much. <laughs> ah. For some reason, my attacks aren't doing that much damage to these guys. At least not my long range, anyway. Or at least for Cosmos. Uh, come on, hurry up! Yeah, they take forever with these beam attacks. There you go. Sorry about that, viewers, but I'm not wasting time with that. Alright, let's try it. Let's try a long range tech attack for Shion. Cherry Bossom. Cherry Bomb! Ah! Damn, that did barely did much either! Shit! Eat it, bitch! Okay, there you go, progress! Woo! Nice! Ow! Quit it! Oh shit, I might want to heal Shion. 
first things first, though. Ah! Eat my kick, bitch! There you go. Uh-oh! Ow! Quit it. And yeah, we only have one revive and no means to revive our character otherwise. So you might want to heal your characters when they get low on HP. Alright. Medica! Now, Medica, like I said, is a low-level healing spell. And she uh, can transfer that to other party members later on in the game. Later. Ah! There you go. Alright, let's get these bastards out the way. Hey, bitch! There you go. Who would have thought one of Miyuki's inventions would come in handy? <laughs> we need to find out who Miyuki is. She keeps mentioning her in battle. Chief, items aren't the only things that are inside containers. Wow, thanks for telling thanks for telling me that so late, Alan. Wow. But yeah, we also have like mimics basically in this game as well if you can count them as mimics but they're not mimic mimics but they're just monsters hitting inside treasure chests and, and boxes and shit so there you go at least now you know and knowing is only half the battle oh we found sergeant address number 10 nice viewers keep these sergeant address doors in mind for later you can unlock some very special items by opening those doors. But in order to open those doors, you need an item called a decoder in order to do so. Some of them could be acquired during the course of the story. Some of them could be acquired via side quests. So I'll get more into that when it becomes pertinent, but not right now. Alright, we're almost done. Whew, boy. Uh, what's this? Hello? Oh! Just get the fuck out of me. And this is a mission key. Nice. Now I can unlock the door. Cool. Good for you, lady. Good for you. Uh oh. Should I wait or? There you go. Yeah. Walk away, bitch. <laughs> All right. It's the can. Ah, yeah, the canisters here. Come on, bitch. Follow me. Damn, I missed. Do you really think this is a good idea? Ah, uh, whatever. In any case, airborne enemies. Against airborne enemies, use the triangle direct line attacks. You cannot use square close range attacks against them. So basically, only long range attacks can work on this on these bitches. So, yoink! It, bitch! Nice. Uh-oh. ha <laughs> Thunderbolt fail. Blaster! And double blast! Goodbye. All systems clear. <laughs> nice. All right. I think we have one more random, or, or not random encounter. I guess you could call them real-time battles. So the enemies are like right in your face. Yeah. All right, viewers, I'm back. I took care of those gnosis enemies off-screen. But yeah, they also count as G in the um in the battle queue. By the way, there are our first gnosis type enemies, ugly bastards, aren't they? So there you go. Now after after that battle, I acquired a lot of really good ether um or e points. Basically, I'm going to use my e points here, and I'm going to transfer Medica to Cosmos. So that way, Cosmos will be able to use Medica as well. So that way, we will have well a second healer, so to speak. So yeah, but take note though, you do use up um, E points when you transfer those spells. So you know, just so you know, you know now. All right, first things first, let's use those med kits that we got because we got a boss fight coming up. Spoiler alert! All right, we're all set to go. There it is. This should be the room. Right. In case, let's unlock this door using the mission key. There you go. All right, and we go. Huh, what's this bat? Oh, this box. Huh, I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Huh. What the fuck is that? Not as what whoa! What's going on? A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen a net grow so fast. Look at it, sir. Portions of the Encephalon map are evolving. 
What does that mean? Alan, I'm going to engage the target. Make sure you capture all the data. What? You cannot engage right now. You're tapped into Cosmos Perception. It's too unstable. Don't worry. We can pull it off. What do you mean, don't worry, Chief? <laughs> too late for that now! <laughs> so it's time for a boss fight! Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. Versus strong GX. Yu-Gi-Oh GX? No, that's a different kind of GX. <laughs> In the case, Strong GX, our first boss fight. He has 420 HP, and oh boy, his, his evasion is like 12, which at this point is not very good. So, at, well, not very good, meaning not very good for us. Alright, let's get in our eggs. Get in my eggs! Eat those eggs. Now, why they call them eggs, I have no idea. It just, sound, it just sounds high in cholesterol. Yoink! But yeah, Drone GX is not that hard of a boss, but Active Guard is annoying because all it does, it boosts his defense, and then it gives him a boost rage gauge, or a boost gauge. Bonus. Whoa! Not only that, but he can also perform like a little counter attack whenever he is in Active Guard, so just watch out for that shit. Otherwise than that though, yeah, um, basically, you must have Xion and eggs for this. Otherwise, Drone GX attacks will basically kill her. And besides, why wouldn't you be in your eggs? It's a sexy red robot. So, there you go. But yeah, just have Cosmos just attack. Cosmos should be able to be alright by herself. Xion, on the other hand, must be in eggs. Just shoot that bitch down! There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go, bitch. Good job, ladies. Good job. Charlie's Angels? No, they're not Charlie's Angels. Well, never mind. In any case, awesome levels up, and we gotta eat their pack ass. Nice. Alright, and those little... So far, so good. Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program. Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. Hilbert! I knew this would happen! Status! This is bad. Something's wrong in the encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the chief? Uh. Chief, you're in danger. Get out of there now! Hold on! Just a little longer! Chief! Nerve impulse is in the limbic system. We've got Kinley. That's enough. Shut it down. Pull her out of there now. Roger. Entering shutdown command. It's been rejected. The chief's overriding us. <laughs> we can't control it from here. What? Ten seconds to encephalon collapse. Sir, damn it. Does she want to die? Huh. What the hell's going on with that thing? Ah, oh, this world! No. Okay. It's a creepy ass boss is off. What the hell? What's this little girl doing here? Oh, shit, that was creepy. Do you need help finding your parents or something? Hello? Gee! Whoa! <laughs> he just randomly went in there! Chief? Talk about a glitch in the system. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Did I push my luck a little too far this time? <laughs> Alan? You can't keep doing this, Chief. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I bet the data's really good. Almost die for it. Besides... Huh? Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, we better get started on that data. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. 
I see. So what's going on here? Whoa! Ooh. Is that some kind of hyperspace? <laughs> Feels like something out of Star Trek. Whoop speed, Captain. No. Whoa. That is a big ass spaceship. So, what the fuck is Vector, anyway? Some kind of tech company? Huh, I guess we'll find out. Huh. All ships, gate out complete. Shifting main engine to stealth mode. Maintaining current speed until sector withdrawal. Exit from current space set at absolute time, 1300 on the 22nd. Seven hours, sixteen minutes, and thirty seconds to withdraw. Next UMN column in seven hours, thirty-six minutes. All gate jumps from other sectors will remain offline until then. Cool. Fucking asteroids. So, we're almost home. Yes, sir. Our final gate jump is at the next column. We're almost there. We made it this far, we'll be fine. The odds of contact between columns is statistically low. Besides, this asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. Who? Oh. So, Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. Mm. I... I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? Huh? Is something wrong? No. Of course not. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. And we still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. I can empathize with the Commander. Mm. Uh... Captain? Can you... Uh, debrief us on the current situation? Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation were to investigate the vanished planet and assist the researchers. But ever since we picked up that object, it feels like everything's changed. What exactly is that thing anyway? Who knows? I haven't heard a thing from the research team. But, as I mentioned before, Apparently, they're after the object, too. That's unofficial info, of course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? Even if it were true, that's none of our business. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. Hmm. Top priority? What does that mean? What it means is, over our very lives. He's trying to scare them or something? Now, now, no need to scare them. Those orders merely reflect the importance of this operation to the Galaxy Federation government, that's all. Just stay sharp and be careful. That makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Ah, uh, yes, uh, speaking of which, What's the latest on that situation? They're scheduled to turn in the A7 reports today. A7, eh? Only one step away from fully operational. It's about time, I suppose. 
Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data's ready. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. Mm. What trump card? Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. You didn't know? Wow, so it's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. You can't blame them. There were casualties during their last boot-up test two years ago. They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. The only place I've ever seen them is in old space novels. <laughs> well, Trump card or not, it's still an experiment. And it ain't like one android's gonna make that much of a difference. The whole project's just a chance for those Vector guys to show off. A little Someone's know. outdated hobby, that's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. They say ignorance is bliss. Looks like they were right. Commander? <laughs> this guy. I'm just envious, that's all. He seems like a hard ass. Hmm. So who is this commander guy? He seems very important to the plot, it seems. Guess we'll find out soon. Sure. I'll be there in 30 minutes. They certainly didn't waste any time. See? I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki, here's the data you requested. Will that be all? Thanks. This should be good enough. I'll take care of the rest. What's this? Um, Chief, do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? Well, I must admit, you got me there. But honestly, if it were up to me, I'd keep her here, safe in her dream world, forever. Uh... But why are you so afraid to put her to real work when you push her so hard in the simulations? I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. Couldn't you at least try taking her up to Phase 3? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase 3 in a simulated battle config? Come on. We're not about to wake our little princess for that. <laughs> Here's a summary of Cosmos' main equipment from the 2nd Division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. Alright then. Can we finally move on? There you go. By the way, Chief, what did you think of the MWS and the eggs? It's just dummy data created inside the acephalon, but it was pretty exciting stuff, wasn't it? If neither had problems during this test, all that remains are the functionality tests using actual models. It worked pretty well. The, M the MWS in particular felt right to me. I sent something contrived in it, though. Well, I hear Miyuki is closely involved with the MWS. I'm sure she's up to something again. Oh, by the way, can you send the connection gear data to headquarters for me? You know, the vaporizer plug-in that, that we use to destroy obstacles? I wonder if they're going to manufacture it based on our test data. I swear they pile everything they can on us under the pretext of testing Cosmos. Well, it's inevitable, considering they have a lot of other concerns, like the budget. Huh. If the budget was such a big deal, how are they allowing you to run all this shit? Heh, <laughs> whatever. Well, viewers, looks like we'll have to hand over that data to the captain of the ship next time on Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I'm signing off till next time. Have a great day. Smell you later.